Hello friends, in this weekly tip I'm going to talk about the default names of the world types that come by default when we install Revit. The reason of making this video is because I had several comments before in my Revit tutorial for beginners from students talking about this issue. Back in the version 2020, the names of the world types were easier to read than on the version 2023. For example, for the interior walls, generic, and some exterior walls, we could see the total width in the name and the type of construction of the wall, for example, masonry, blockwork, etc. Now, in the version 2023, the names have a lot of numbers and abbreviations, and we cannot see any widths there. But don't worry. I'm going to select the wall type, this one, and go to Edit Type. Here, in the Type Properties, you can see the width in the Construction section, if that was the first parameter you were looking for. Then, what about this kind of code you can see in the name? If you click in Edit Structure, you can see that the abbreviations mean the structure composition. Here, we have plaster as finished component with 12.5 mm, and that's represented by 12p for plaster. Then, for the structure, we have metal stud with 70 mm of thickness. Now let's select a different type. This time, you can see for this one, the new total width is 120. Then let's go to the structure. For this one, you can see the finish section is different. We have 25 mm of gypsum for each finish section. Two layers of 12.5 mm. And the structure is the same as the previous type. 70 mm of metal stud. In conclusion, if you are looking for a type focusing in the first instance in its total width, you can check it out in the construction section. However, for me the advantage of the new nomenclature is when you are more familiar with the abbreviations, you will be able to understand all the structure components just by looking at the type name. That's all in this video. Please feel free to visit my page on Patreon where you can support this channel if you're happy of course, and there you can also get access to the exercise files. I would really appreciate that, even of course I'm already grateful that you find these videos useful for you. So thank you very much for watching, see you next time!